Welcome to Part History YouTube channel. Subscribe our channel for regular notification and follow our official Facebook page. Today we are going to discuss about Harappan seals and script. Harappan seals were cut out of steatite, a soft stone with a hardness of one on most scale, easy to saw, smooth and curve. On most seals, the operative face was carved in intaglios or inverse relief with the figure of an animal and a row of written symbols. When stamped on a plastic surface like wet clay, the seal could yield a positive relief image and a verbal message that could be read. Sealing with clay would protect the contents of a pot or a cloth package and also reveal the identity of the sender or sealer of the pot or package. A projecting and perforated boss on the reverse of the seal enabled the person to tie it with a cord to the wrist and to handle it for stamping. Bronze knives, small saws, bearings and perhaps drill would have been the tools used in shape the seals. They were then coated with a white substance and baked. This increases the hardness of steatite from 1 to about 6 on more scale and makes it fit for the wear and tear of stamping. Sealed clay would break on the opening of containers or packages, but occasionally an accidental fire in antiquity could bake hard a ceiling still fixed on its container or package and preserve its surface even as the cloth, reed or matting of the package was reduced to ashes. It is this kind of chance occurrence that confirms the function of the Harappan seals. On the reverse of such baked mud pieces can often be detected the impression of cloth or fiber or knots. Significantly, there were also tokens or tablets with short written messages of clay or fiance that were made in molds. Perhaps such technique was used because certain messages had to be sent out of many people or, as suggested by S. Farmer, because many people were participating in a ritual. An overwhelming majority of seals and ceilings carry as the main image the unicorn, usually with an object scholars call the sacred brazier or sacred manger. We do not know what the latter object was in front of it. The sacred brazier itself is shown on a gold head ornament and thus had not only sacred but also elite associations. The unicorn is clearly a mythical beast, a composite of the figures of several animals. Besides single animals, there are also on some seals, fewer in number, images of horned personages or tree spirits and geometric motifs. Now, we are moving towards the discussion on Harappan script and language. No one has as yet succeeded in deciphering the Harappan script unless a bilingual inscription in Harappan and a known script is found, one which incorporates personal 
names or place names decipherment remains an unlikely eventuality the writing goes from right to left as was made out from a close examination of some overlapping signs scratched on a pot there were very few known exceptions out of 3463 lines of indas inscriptions recorded by iravatham mahadevan omitting 190 single signs he found 2974 lines running right to left and only 235 running left to right in most cases where there is a second line it also runs from right to left only in 10 known cases does a left to right second line follow a right to left first line a practice known as bostrobdon the indas direction of writing practically excludes any connection with the brahmi script originating more than 1500 years later not only because brahmi was purely alphabetical but also because it was written left to right short strokes could have indicated numbers the writing occurs on pots sometimes a single sign has been scratched on the surface terracotta or stoneware bangles shell bangles copper tablets copper tools ivory rods with the greatest number of inscribed objects being seals and tokens we get the impression that writing was for humdrum purpose striking exceptions are the inscribed copper tablets that appear to have been talismans and the occurrence of what the excavator of dolavira calls a public inscription 10 signs about 37 cm high cut out of stones and perhaps fastened on a wooden board for display on a street the inscription on the seals being brief they probably indicate little more than the owner's name and designation perhaps the pictorial solo animal emblem carved with great skill below the inscription indicate the lineage ancestry or social origins of the seal owner there is no geographic pattern to the occurrence of the various seal emblems unicorn bull rhinoceros etc and so the animal would not have signified the place of origin of the owner perhaps it was the image that lent authenticity to any spoken message or order or verified the contents of any parcel of goods sent out by a person in authority incidentally the greatest number of written objects known so far occurs at harappa on mount e and at mohenjodaro many signs are picture like reminding us of a water carrier jar some read this as tree fish arrow comb etc a total of some 400 to 450 harappan signs we rule out an alphabet where one sign stands for one vowel or consonant because alphabets usually have no more than 36 signs the harappan script was probably logographic one sign standing for one word with additional signs that had phonetic value not all things that we wish to express for example 
people's names or emotions or abstractions can have a matching picture thus there would have been both sense signs and sound signs the meaning of the latter being independent of the image in other words it was an advanced logosyllabic script such an inference means that even when a character appears to us to be a pictograph it may well bear many meanings in addition to what it pictures for example it can be seen to represent fish man load carrier or laborer jar and three jars that the fish sign really represents fish is borne out by picture of a fish eating alligator in indus art where the fish is represented by precisely this sign also the fish sign is found inscribed on a tablet shaped like a fish but not only are there quite a few variants of the fish sign but the fish sign itself occurs so often that it must certainly have carried other senses as well beyond some very provisional explorations however it would be dangerous to go we would wish to script to tell us about the indus civilization not impose meanings on its characters on the basis of what we think its social features beliefs and rituals were diverse efforts to impose a vedic or aryan grab on the indus civilization through claimed deciferments for example by s r rao shubhash c kak and n s rajaram are not only mutually inconsistent but are ruled out by the arbitrary nature of their assumptions this is also partly true of the attempts to read the script by giving proto dravidian phonetic values wholesale to various in the signs as by father h harris and walter a fair service but perhaps the case for proto dravidian is not without some merit certain signs computer concordances reveal tend to occur frequently at the end of the inscriptions which points to a language using grammatical suffixes as in the agglutinative dravidian rather than inflective indo-aryan languages in agglutinative languages words are created by joining together small elements each with a specific meaning besides brahui spoken in the hills of southern baluchistan today is a dravidian language so it is likely that the harappan language was a dravidian one recently scholars have begun to question the very existence of harappan script and to suggest that the visual signs had no reference to language carried no detailed message or information and were not even mnemonic system instead the lines of signs must have been symbols that associated individuals families clans offices with specific gods or their celestial correspondents say farmer sprout and witchel this conclusion is based on the sum observation and arguments first the sign did not change or evolve over the 600 years of the mature harappan period second 
the inscriptions are all short the longest extent having only 17 signs and the average seal inscription four to five signs third no writing or writing materials have been depicted in the art no writing materials found much the same argument is made about warfare absence of evidence is taken as evidence of absence fourth it is doubted that there really are meaningful patterns in the position of certain signs at the beginnings or ends of inscriptions so that the case for suffixes weak more important it is pointed out that of about 400 signs observed in about 2900 known harpan inscriptions more than 100 signs occur just once if these were phonetic signs we would expect them to recur frequently further it is said that if there was a total 400 signs that were logograms one sign standing for one word this is surely too small a range of words even if there were word associations for example in english the sign for the sun could also be read as sun to be taken seriously as a script it has interesting analogies with writing and symbol system across cultures here a few counter arguments are relevant a numbers of signs and sign repetitions are a tangled issue because whether two elements are one and the same sign a sign and its variant or two different signs depends on how a scholar views them b although there are only 10 signs in the dolabira public inscription four of these appear to be repetitions c the divine symbols carved on mesopotamian land boundary stones with which harappan signs are compared do not run into the hundreds d let us note that the beautiful painted pictures of the egyptian hieroglyphic writing system that emerged in 3500 bc these signs also look like emblems in some contexts did not change greatly over the long period when hieroglyphs were in use until the early centuries AD. E. More important, Egyptian hieroglyphs, which were both sense signs and sound signs and in phonetic terms represented only consonants, are no more than about 750 in total, although in use for millennia. Besides, where sign order is concerned, hieroglyphs were written from top to bottom, from right to left, and also from left to right. In the matter of sign repetition and length of written texts, however, the Egyptian system is not at all comparable to the Harappan. So, the debate has only begun. This is the end of our today's discussion. Subscribe our channel to get regular notification. Like our video and follow our official Facebook page. For any query, feel free to write us. For detail, see the description.